Hey there, and welcome to the Business of Business podcast. Here we are two daughters and their dad seeking to inspire and educate you to follow your dreams of being in business by teaching you the business of being in business. The good, the bad, the humor are all parts of our unique perspective as an entrepreneurial family. Thanks for joining us. So grab a coffee, turn up the volume. Here we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to our podcast, The Business of Business. This is Two, da- two Daughters and Their Dad. I am Stacy J. Dempsey, the host, and the J is very important because it brings the joy. And I have with me today somebody's father and somebody's daughter. Who else is here well, with me? Dad's here. Dad. Daughter's here. Jennifer, nice to see you guys. So today we are, um, we're kind of still talking about the process of living lean and we um, have done one maybe one and a half podcast now about what that is and why it's important so today we really wanted to talk about you know real life examples of how we live lean Um, obviously dad is in a different place in his life Um, and so maybe he lives lean in a different way or Um, just what the fruits of the labor of living lean have been. Um, So we just thought it was really important to kind of talk about what are real life examples of, you know, how do we, how do we live lean day in and day out? What are the choices that we have to make? Um, You know, whether they're big purchases or small purchases and just, you know, how all of that together positions us into our business um, you know, for the long haul for a better financial future. So Jennifer, I'll start with you because, um, you know, we have talked about lifestyle changes and things that we have to, um, you know, spend our money on. And so in the last, um, you know, last year you had a baby. And so that alone brings joy and a lot more bills. Um, and I know this because, pay them uh I pay my own bills not Jennifer's <laughs> just so we clarify. Let's but clear. let's be clear I pay my bills um but so what in just kind of transitioning from not having a child to having a child and what does like living lean look for you now well I think it's important and we might have mentioned it before but you know when I set out to open J Faith Hair Studio we're talking about a complete lifestyle change, living in my on my own, living in an apartment, having a car, um, being 100 um, percent independent. So when I open the salon, a huge lifestyle change, I moved back in with my mom, cut all my expenses and just really tried to um, make sure that I didn't have a lot of bills. And what did that look like for me? Um So again, I moved back home with my mom and I really just stuck to the most important bills, not having any credit card debt. Um, And I did not take a paycheck from the salon for the first year. Now I know that that can be hard for some people. I mean, I, I get tips. So I did have a little bit of income coming in to be able to pay my car payment, car insurance, but there was not much else other than that. Um, and obviously I had some money saved at that time. Um, but still a very scary situation after about a year of the salon being open, I was able to start taking a paycheck three and a half years in, I still don't take a full paycheck. I'm still investing in my business, um, and not taking what I would normally get paid if I worked in a different salon. So what does that mean for me current day? Um, I still try to make smart decisions. Thankfully, I have, you know, my family to help me. I I did have my daughter. She's what? She just turned 15 months. So when I had my daughter, um, you know, that became a priority that I had to start making a little bit more money. And what did that look like for me? Um, But again, me and my daughter still have the opportunity to live rent free, mortgage free with my mom. And that alone is, is helps me be able to still not take a huge paycheck from the salon. Right. Right. Yeah. 
And so, um, Jack, I'll, I'll send this kind of over to you because I don't know, I feel like living, living lean might mean a little different to you now that, um, you know, you're in a different phase of life, I guess, <laughs> or a different stage in life. But I mean, I know Jennifer and I've talked, like we certainly have the stories of as, as an adult thinking back and thinking that was dad living lean. That was, you know, you know, in hind, you know, now that you're an adult, you understand like why dad did those, did those things. Um, the one story that comes to mind is when we would go out for ice cream, you never got your own ice cream. And so now that I'm an adult, I realize now that number one, that was a cost <laughs> savings. And number two, it was also a calorie savings because right. you knew you were going to be able, we were going to need help with the ice cream that was frantically melting on four children down their arms. And so you had to like, quote unquote, help us out with it. And so therefore you still got your ice cream, but um, probably not as many calories as eating your own and ours and, um, and the cost savings. So that was in hindsight, I'm like that, gosh, my dad's sense. a genius because <laughs> now I do it myself. Like, you know what? You guys order what you want. I'm going to get a salad knowing that I'm going to just probably eat your leftovers anyway. But um, so what what are some things that come to mind as far as living lean in in your experience and in your mind and for people today? Well, I just want to go back for a second, because, again, we've talked about this in a couple of the prior podcasts uh, and. And I just want to remind everybody about the sigmoid curve. You know, the reason that uh, most businesses don't grow or plateau is because they don't understand the sigmoid curve. They don't understand that in that startup phase, um, you know, there is going to be, you know, some challenging financial times. Um, and many businesses can endure that or many people who start businesses can endure that but then once the business starts to grow cash flow starts to come in then that's when you that's when it gets hard uh, because going into most businesses you know I'm gonna have to live lean here because I'm I have to invest back in my business right the challenge is is when the business starts to do well and you have cash flow the thing that most business owners and people want to do is then begin to, you know, take that money from the business, build their lifestyle, um, and invest, you know, in more lifestyle choices. And that's where the mistake is made because in the sigmoid curve, you have to begin to look in that growth stage. Now, when am I going to start the curve over again? Mm -hmm. And that's the challenge is because now you're realizing, okay, <laughs> That doesn't mean I am going to be able to increase lifestyle because I'm going to have to start that curve over again um, and in order to keep my business growing. So I just wanted to just kind of remind ourselves why we're talking about this because right. um, if you're looking to grow a business, you have to understand, you know, that part of it. You know, so what does it mean to live lean well first of all i think it's important that you have to look i mean if you're you know already in a lean position that's great because now you don't have to undo things or figure out how to undo some things just commit to staying lean and however th whatever that looks like for you um if that's you know able to you know still live with parents or live with family so that you can keep your housing costs down. That's great. Um, if you don't, not in that position, then certainly look for ways that you can live, you know, you know, in a way that you don't have a lot of, you know, housing costs and, and certainly entertainment costs and all those things. But, you know, if, if you're already, um, have built some lifestyle and you have to, you know, figure out a way to get some cash flow well you've just got to just put everything on the table and you're going to have to say all right what can go i mean if you're truly committed to this entrepreneurial dream that you have then you've got to be willing to let things go that could be letting go of you know your cable bill or your um some of the things that you enjoy every month you know you have to let some of those things go uh, so that you can um, have that that cash flow necessary uh, so 
Because like in Jennifer's case, you know, she went for quite a while without taking a paycheck. Well, you need to go into your business understanding that you're not going to be able to take much income out of that business. It's about paying your bills, reinvesting, growing, and so maintaining, uh, again, that lean uh, end of the tube of toothpaste lifestyle is really what's going to get you there. And that's also what's going to mess you up if you don't pull that off. So you need to think of things like budgeting. You know, have, you know, a very strict written budget for your personal finances. Track everything. Track every penny so that you know where every penny is going um, in your personal budget. Uh, because you will be amazed how much money you can find uh, in your budget if you track. So that's one tool, budget and tracking your spending pattern. So um, the other thing is just understanding that um, when you are um, spending, if, if you have a situation where you have a family, again, a little bit tougher uh, because obviously you've got more than just you to be concerned with, but communication that's very critical is communicate to your spouse um, if your kids are old enough to communicate you know about what your the vision is the dream you have to keep that communication because again they're going to have to um, have some buy-in to this whole thing so be creative you know it's like all right we're not taking a vacation uh, because we need to take that money and, and invest in the business or build margin to have some safety net under us but you know but figure out creative ways to you know have fun and be get out you know just um it's it's amazing when you talk to people who um have had success and when they talk about those lean years many times some of their happiest times is when they were broke because then they had to get creative. Then they had to, you know, they had to figure out, okay, how can I take my kids, you know, to the park, you know, and have a enjoyable day and, and build a memory. You know, when we have money, sometimes it's like, okay, I can afford to take them to this amusement park and, you know, buy them a wristband and they're off and running and, you know, and, you know, sometimes it's just not the same. So, but asking your family to sacrifice and things like that but don't torture them you know right. make sure you 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 know you're looking for creative ways for them to still have things and build memories um, and spend time with them so um, those are just again some things i'm thinking of i mean i've you know some practical things is you know even going out to eat you know making sure that you know what when we walk in this door you know, you can order what you want to eat, but we're drinking water, right, you know, right. yep. because if everybody orders a drink, we're just we're adding $15 to the to the bill. So right now, I'm just telling you right now, we're, we're <laughs> drinking water. Yeah. Um, if it's a special night and you're taking, you know, your significant other out, well, and you like a glass of wine, find a BYOB, you know, don't spend 40 bucks on the wine, take, you know, that same bottle of wine that you can buy for. 15 bucks and do a BYOB just things like that those little decisions you know day in and day out will really make a difference in making sure that and and again it, and it builds creativity you know how to think things through so um, so again those are just some things that come to mind so at one point I mean you were started a started a business well moved away from basically the life that you, that you had in West Virginia started a business came up here came to New Jersey with two kids and two on the way and I mean I I can say from because I lived it I mean I never felt like we were without I never felt like we were broke or anything like that but in hindsight I'm thinking we probably had some tough months in, <laughs> in there somewhere along the line I mean I never felt that way. I never felt like we were going without, or, you know, you talk about going out to dinner and we were just saying like, you know, if we went to pizza hut on Friday night, I mean, it was like, we were like, it was a, we just, it was like our thing. I don't know. We just had a good time. It was just fun. And you're sitting here going, yeah, I fed, you know, 
six people on 20, 20 bucks, bucks, right? And that's two the, large pizzas, breadsticks, and a pitcher of soda for 20 bucks. We, right. We pulled it off. Right. And so it was more about, you know, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was just the fact of going out or us all being together and doing something. And, you know, um, so. Well, talking about being creative, I remember when you first opened the office. And I think we came on the weekends to clean it, right? And yeah. plant flowers. And it it didn't seem like, oh, we have to go and clean the office or do landscaping. It was fun because we were all together. It didn't seem like anything that was out of the ordinary. Right. Exactly. Some, somehow dad made everything fun. Like yeah. it was like, oh, my gosh, we get to do this. So, you know, when, you know. Bought the townhouse, you know, we moved to New Jersey and it was all new construction and you weren't, you were just born. So you don't remember, but there was no landscaping. There was no grass. It was just dirt for backyard. And in order to grow the grass, all these rocks had to be picked up out of the earth. There's nothing there but earth, right? <laughs> so on the weekends, dad gave Emily and I a bucket and it was who let's see who can get the more rocks in their bucket and me and Emily were like oh my gosh this is like so much fun fun hence the free landscaping that then came like it was like I'm not gonna pay so I got two these two little kids and right. dad was out there with us too but it was just like you know you think back to like oh my gosh that was just so much fun and now you're like feeling like now that was like a uh a, a cost saving tactic and all <laughs> the whole scheme of things, but oh well, it worked. It worked really well. So, well, and, you know, so we've all made some like, you know, not always the best financial decisions sure. for the budget. So, do you guys want to touch on maybe just like a choice that maybe you knew it probably wasn't going to be the best financial choice? You did it anyway, and then you know you have to figure way out of it. Jack's looking at me like, no, I've never. <laughs> done that but um well I think that it's important as we're talking about this I was just recently talking to someone about it listen I'm 30 years old I'm a single mom I'm an entrepreneur and there's pressure right like there's pressure from the world there's pressure to say I'm doing this this and this so I should be this this and this and I think that that's what it comes down to is that are you okay with not being where the world is saying that you should be, right? Like I own a business, I have a one-year-old daughter, but we live in the house that I grew up in, still with my mom. And and it's to, to the outside world, that seems like that doesn't make any sense what's going on. Right. But to make this lifestyle work and to be somewhat comfortable, right? Like I don't want to be struggling with my daughter we I, I want to have some comfortable lifestyle for her I'm going to take the sacrifice to say we're going to stay here we're right. going to stay here until something else happens and that sacrifice again it, it it's hard to make it's it's like okay here I am 30 years old you should be out of your parents house quote unquote right right but that's the best decision for what the goal is for me so in saying that it's we talk about it like it's easy and I think that 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 alone is very hard for people to say I don't I don't want to make that sacrifice I don't want to go without I want to drive a new car I want to have a house I want to have new sneakers so that's what you have to decide you you know you do you want to be an entrepreneur or do you want to have new stuff and that's really just what it comes down to. And are you okay going against the grain to say, the world's telling me I should do this, but I'm going to ignore that and do this to better, to be able to invest in my business, to be able to give my daughter new clothes, new shoes, eat diapers, then I need to make this decision. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a good point because that is what gets a lot of people is that is that comparison, you know, it's, you know, the keeping up with the neighbors and, you know, or looking at your peers and whatever business you're in after a certain period of time thinking, you know, um, you know, their, their life looks a certain way and I'm wanting to keep my life looking, you know, lifestyle under that level. Um, but it's hard because, you know, you also want people to look at you as having some level of success. So, um, 
You know, I think one of the biggest the biggest things that you can really do to help your budget, <clears throat> talking about something we did when I was younger and I still do today, is, you know, I buy good cars, but I buy them slightly used because I like other people eating the depreciation on them. And I either pay for it um, or pay for it very quickly. Um, these days I pay for it and I drive them for a long time and I put a lot of miles on them. So right now, for example, my business car is a 2011 Ford Taurus that just turned 211,000 miles. It's a good car, still going strong. Could I afford something a little bit newer than that and a little bit nicer than that? Yes. <laughs> um, but, but here's the thing is that's, you know, that I've always been that way. I've always bought, again, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to buy a piece of junk and drive a piece of junk, you know, up in front of my client's business. But, you know, I'm also not going to buy, you know, a car that, you know, is way more than I need and way more expensive. And so even though I'm in a better position to do that today, because I've always done it, I'm comfortable with it. You know, I'm comfortable with that. It's like Warren Buffett, who's like worth, you know, 50 or $75 billion, lives in the same house that him and his wife bought back in the, in the 1950s for $35,000. Right. You know, it's just not important to him, right. you know, to live in, I mean, he could live in a 50,000 square foot mansion if he wanted to, but right. it's just not important. And that's what you'll find is if you practice, you know, that type of lifestyle living, then when you do get to the point where you can afford more things, then you realize that it's not that important. So, um, so again, but vehicles, Jennifer, are, um, you know, a losing proposition. So that was probably the one thing uh, Jennifer and I had a little difference on because she bought a brand new car recently. And mm -hmm. that I told her not to do. I just want to be on the record. I told her not to do it. Well, me too. But <laughs> that, but again, um, she needed something a little bit bigger, um, you know, to to handle the baby and all that goes with that. So co completely understood that. But I would have liked to have seen her buy something slightly used. And uh, but again, didn't We're go that way. Right? We're all a little bit We're different. We're all a little bit different. So, <laughs> so. Well, excellent. Well, on that note, we will then end this podcast. We want to thank everybody for joining us. And until next time, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. We want to thank you for listening today. Please subscribe so you never miss an episode. Leave us a positive review. And we want to say thank you to our sponsors, Dempsey Weiss & Associates and J Faith Hair Studio.